Let me paint you a picture and you let me know if it sounds familiar. You bought yourself the latest and greatest camera, you treat yourself to an expensive lens, you tell yourself you're gonna take photography a lot more seriously. Cool, awesome. Oh wait, what's that? Peter McKinnon just launched his new backpack. You start thinking to yourself, well this backpack looks pretty cool and mine's getting kind of old, even though I bought it six months ago. And this is gonna be perfect for when I go out of country during my paid time off three months from now. Ordered. Oh, what's that? Maddie Hapubla just recommended me the one and only lens that I would need. But that can't be right. I already have this expensive lens. I know, I'll get this one and use both. Ordered. Whoa, 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 Jason Vaughn just recommended me a brand new gimbal. I've always planned on shooting videos, even though I've never shoot videos my entire life. And this gimbal seems strong enough to hold that new lens that Maddie recommended to me. This is gonna be perfect. Ordered. Then comes time for you to bring your gear to the first shoot in months, or for that vacation that you've planned for, just to be overwhelmed by the amount of gear that you suddenly accumulated. Unsure what to use first, you start to use everything. You go home, you offload your SD cards to your computer just to find out that your photos are crap, your videos are crap, you have nothing usable from that day. You start looking on Instagram, wondering how your friends and peers take such amazing photos and yours look like crap. You feel angry, you feel like you're not good enough, you start to wonder why the hell did you even take up photography in the first place? You become sad, you stop taking your camera wherever you go, you stop watching your favorite YouTubers, you slowly start to deactivate your social media accounts. So that was an extreme picture that I just painted and I at some point felt it at that level, that, that photography depression when I first got started in photography even before I created this YouTube channel. And to this day, I still get hit pretty hard with it. So not only is this video gonna serve as a reminder for myself, but hopefully help those of you who are out there who are currently experiencing the same thing. I know this topic is a little different from what I usually talk about on this channel, but I personally myself is going through a little bit of a photography depression or the creative rut, if you will. And these things don't completely go away, but hopefully these tips today will help you deal with that a lot easier. So tip number one, slim down on the gear. I know it sounds weird coming from the internet's biggest gas inducer. I know I make a lot of video hyping about the Sony cameras and the lenses and the accessories, but it's important on your end to shop responsibility, shop for what you need and nothing more. Many people, including myself, are easily succumbed to the influence that we see on the internet. Oftentimes, photographers buy something just because their favorite YouTubers are using it only to feel guilty about it afterwards for wasting money and never ever using it. Like an expensive gimbal. If you are feeling this way, it is important to start reminding yourself why you got into photography in the first place and start eliminating gear that has nothing to do with your passion. I know it seems like making YouTube videos are cool, but if your passion is only in photography, to stick to photography. Start selling the lenses and start selling the gear that you haven't been using for a while now. I know, I know it is incredibly difficult to do that. I've been there before. If that's the case, just lock them up and start using one lens and one lens only. Challenge yourself. As the saying goes, back to the basics. Then slowly reintroduce the other gear aspects of photography when you start feeling bored or stuck and see how it can help you further your skills. Don't buy gear for the sake of buying gear. Oh, that's crazy talk coming from Jason Vong. Number two, stop being so hard on yourself on your creations. Oftentimes I see people get way too caught up with a technical aspect of photography that they stop sharing, they stop creating because of it. They start focusing a lot more on the correct shutter speed or having the right ISO settings or the sharpness of the lens to the point where even if the photo is a little bit blurry, they, they just beat themselves over it. Or worse, blame their camera or blame the gear. So my advice is stop looking at the right setting and start looking at how the photo makes you feel. If you snap the photo, and it's a little bit blurry, but it still looks pretty cool, just share it, just post it on your social media, share that story behind that photo. And I promise you there are people out there who will still like your photo. Coming from experience, I only got better at photography and videography because I shared my work on the internet and constantly kept on creating. 
Tip number three, start shooting photos for yourself. This is especially true if you're doing photography as a business. When you're a photographer doing business, you are shooting for someone else. You're not shooting for yourself and you will get burnt out really quickly. Photography suddenly becomes a job and not fun. So you have to start reminding yourself why you got started in photography in the first place. Was it just a hobby or did you want to use it to create like a dope, aesthetically pleasing Instagram page? Whatever it is, return to it and start creating for yourself. Not for the money, not for other people, and you'll be surprised how much better you will get in your photography when you have your heart and passion in it. And you may be surprised when those paid opportunity comes that are seeking for that photography style that is uniquely and personally yours. Tip number four, this is super cliche, but travel. If you can't travel, start going into a new area, somewhere that you've never been before, even if it's 10 miles outside of your house. We are often in a creative rut because we are stuck doing the same routine. Hey Vivian. Hi. So I was sharing with my subscribers about how to get out of a creative rut. Mm -hmm. And one of the tips that I gave was super cliche. <laughs> it's about traveling. <laughs> but how has traveling helped us? I think traveling inspired us in like different ways because it got our creative juices flowing because everything was new and fresh to us so we always wanted to go out and capture everything different because it was like one of those moments like where I'm scared it's fleeting and we're never gonna see it again so we always want to capture it and like one of my favorite trips was Hong Kong because we booked that super spontaneous no planning booked it two weeks out I was like googling cheap flights anywhere and Hong Kong popped up and it was one of the places I've always wanted to go and so we landed and everything was like fresh and different but it still kind of felt like home like it was still a little bit familiar so we weren't like scared to go out and explore so we just went out and we like took photos everywhere took random videos I was like exploring different little alleyways it was just really fun and I think you ended up making that travel video out there right and yeah, we didn't totally, even plan for totally it totally unplanned we were just like we're here, let's do something, let's capture how beautiful this place is so we can show other people. And that's how that video came out. And then my photos from there are like gorgeous. So the best. I, I love it. Let's do it again. Let's go somewhere again. And we're going in November to Japan again, right? In like three weeks. For absolutely no reason. It's okay, because it's beautiful and it'll inspire us again. Woo! Autumn leaves. <laughs> Tip number five, get yourself a photography buddy, you know, get yourself involved in the community. Like going to the gym, having a friend that goes with you will help keep you accountable. There is nothing more exciting than having a friend that rouse you up about going to a newfound local spot just to take some freaking photos. So get yourself involved, find yourself a community, find these local meetups for photography, and you'll be surprised how many local ones that are around you. And if there's nothing around you, be the one who starts one. As an introvert myself, I am telling you to strut your social muscle to make it happen. But trust me, when you surround yourself in a community that shares the same passion and same hobby as you do, social interaction becomes a lot easier. And a few of my personal close photography and videography friends comes from these kinds of events or the organizations that I joined. So go out and actively seek for these kind of groups, seek for these kind of events. Perhaps your local camera store is throwing together an event this weekend. I know for a fact in Los Angeles on November 8th and November 9th at Sammy's Camera Los Angeles Fairfax location, Sony B Alpha Days are coming back. I am not getting paid to advertise this event. This event is completely free. I'm personally gonna be there. I'm gonna be giving talks on both days, but come out, come make yourself some new friends, get involved in the community. That's gonna keep you accountable to keep on creating photos. And no, you don't have to be shooting Sony to come out. Whatever camera systems you're using, just come out and come hang out with us. Share with me your story. Are you in a photography depression right now? Are you stuck in a creative rut? Or maybe you just got out of it. Let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos that I make and I'm so glad I can be sharing something a little bit personal on my end to hopefully help you guys out if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, but before you go, hopefully you guys can stick around and listen to this sponsored message really quickly. This helps keeps the light on and allows me to keep on making fantastic content for you guys. Here we go. 
I'm sure you heard by now, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create beautiful and clean websites. Recently, Vivian and I launched our free filmmaking course and we created a landing page to house all five tutorials. Creating this page took us no more than 30 minutes to put together thanks to Squarespace user-friendly interface. Whether you need a website to build a portfolio or an e-commerce store, build it with Squarespace. Start your free trial today and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jason Vong to save 10% off your website or domain. See you guys in the next video. Peace.